All right, guys, sun's out today, but it is still too wet to do anything on the job side. We're waiting for things to dry up a little bit. So we're gonna try and knock out a few more things on the 120. First things first, we're gonna see if the bucket will fit in the coupler, because that's kind of important if you wanna dig dirt. See how good a machining job you and Mr. Works a lot did. You can right find out. I guarantee you, if it fits, it's gonna be tighter than it's ever been, tighter than would it be brand new. <laughs> to relocate that after I watched Mr. Perfect's video. That is crazy. There's still a little bit of play right there, you see it? It's not in the front, it's in the back. No, it's in the back. Which is what we were talking about. Yeah. I couldn't get a good shot of it to look at it, but. <laughs> I'm not. You know, I mean, yeah, I'm happy that the bucket, it's, it, it did fit in here. I'm real happy. But I'm more impressed with that. The, the, my, <laughs> my sticker, my sticker has survived. No, don't, pay. hey, that goes over there on that cabinet. Yes. That is going to be the best sticker you have on that cabinet. You get some clear paint and put over top of it. Oh, yep. There. That'll work for now. Look how much better that looks than any of the other stickers on here. I love it. Thank you, Dad. You're welcome, son. All right, guys, I did not do a very good job of describing this in real life, so I'll try to do a better job in voiceover. But this thing has developed an oil leak over about the last four or 500 hours. And uh, just one of those things I wanted to get fixed while I was in the shop, while I had the opportunity. So we cannot get down in there to see what it is it's somewhere around the injection pump so uh aaron welded these pad eyes on top of some bolts we're going to thread those down into the top of the counterweight pull the counterweight off we can get in there and see what's going on and see if we can figure out what what is actually going on with the uh with the oil leak so that's the plan okay so we got aaron's pad eyes in there we got it rigged to the crane the question marks whether or not we got enough lifting capacity up there this machine has got this extra counterweight on it. A lot of you guys have asked me about this. It was on there when I bought it. It's factory, and I've only seen one other machine with it. I don't, that's about all I know about it. But uh, we're going to have to use the skid steer to drop it. And then once it's dropped out of the way, the same bolts hold it all together. We should be able to lift that off, up off there. The first bolt actually came out pretty easy. So I hope the other three follow suit. So, do you think it's just uh, pulling up too hard on it right now? No, let's see if these other ones break loose. Is it turning? 
I couldn't tell on that one. No. All right, let's do this. Let's pull the skid steer back. Let's get a breaker bar on it, get them broke loose. And we'll come back and sneak attack on it again. Okay. seems to be the problem. There was a bad spotter on this. And who might that be? Just the asking. Viewers, I'm I asking, was the camera. I'm asking for their sake. <laughs> well, I was watching the holes. It looked like they were cleared, but I didn't allow for the Soft. impact. No, the impact, the socket's fine. It's the impact. <laughs> Impact's too big. What's that? Take three. <laughs> All right, see, five hit candy bar. see what you got this time there, boss man. All right. Oh, that was easy. Yeah. I'll get this one here. One left. You want the honors? Yeah, switch me. Uh, Where's it at? Look out here? Yeah, right there. I don't think anything will move, but keep an eye on it. This side came up now. That side didn't come up yet. It ain't caught on anything, is it? Well, we got old school hooked up. You ready to see what happens? It's not. It's a two-tail correlation muscle.
Well, the little old crane pulled it off there, Aaron. She's sitting safely on the ground. We got to uh, set her next to the truck. We tied her off there. We didn't want to take any chances of it falling over. It's actually pretty stable, but if you hit it hard enough, it could fall over. And I think we found our leak. It is right there where the injection pump bolts to the front cover. I don't know how well you guys can see that, but uh, we get time, we'll get back in here and tackle that. I may, I may even try to order some parts before I even take it apart. About half tempted to uh, pull it outside and pressure wash it, then bring it back in. I don't know. It's a lot of decisions to be made here, folks. We'll be back. Alrighty, so I did go ahead and pull the old 120 back outside. Obviously, we got the uh, counterweight off of it. And we're going to give the old engine a bath here and see what's going on. It's uh, actually leaking up in there a little worse than what I thought it was. So definitely glad we pulled this down to uh, get it fixed. So give her a bath. There's just that counterweight sits like right here. So you can't see down in there. There's no way to get in there to really clean that real good. You can kind of see where the pressure washer hit whenever we pressure washed it before. But right there's like an exact line of where it hit. But uh, get her cleaned up, let her drip dry. We'll pull her back in the shop and then find out what we got. So pressure washer is boring. So we're going to do the old uh, YouTube magic trick. And there it is. Looks a little bit cleaner, don't it? I don't think it could look any dirtier. But uh, that'll be a lot, a lot nicer to work on. I think what we're gonna do at this point is it's not supposed to rain tonight. It's getting late in the evening. Probably gonna let this thing drip dry here in the driveway. We'll get the floor swept one last time, pull her in, and uh, tie back into her tomorrow or whenever it rains or a month from now or whenever we get time. So I'll see you guys at some point. All right, got the 120 truck back in the shop. Well, we got done a little bit early today, so you're up here slave driving, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, I was still in moving equipment mode and uh somebody wimped out on me there production had to trump management because management wouldn't make a whole extra trip no unnecessary it, it would not have been an extra trip we're off the clock it ain't costing no money it <laughs> it's cost costing me fuel six dollars in fuel six dollars that's, that's that's supper tomorrow i tell you what i'd have, I'd have put the six dollars in the truck just so we could have all the equipment out there on the job but here's the argument we have to take the trucks to the job tomorrow anyways yes so all the equipment will be there when we get there because it's going with us i understand that i just wanted to start out fresh when we got there tomorrow morning, I want to fire that equipment up and I want to start digging, not unloading equipment. I can start digging with my machine. The only, the only machine, no, hold on. The only machine that's not there is the roller. So you're going to dig dirt with the roller? <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're going to leave the roller here. <laughs> All right, we're getting sidetracked. Yeah, so, get back on. Aaron's getting this uh, pin welded up. We got just a little bit of slop to take out of the bottom of these with that thing cams over. It's a little different style cup with the most. Mm -hmm. But uh, while he's doing that, I'm uh, working on the opposite end of the machine. We found out, I've already kind of got a head start on this, but that oil leak, a pressure washer fell off, that oil leak is right here. It's dripping out right below that injection pump. I'm not really sure what's in there. We gotta pull that pump off there and find out. I got the uh, Steel line's busted loose here and here. There's an oil line that goes here. There's a bracket with a shutdown solenoid I took off there. There's a bolt inside here you gotta take off, which is the dry pulley. And I went in here and I marked, I don't know if you guys can see that right there, but I marked all the timing. So as long as I don't turn the engine over, and as long as I don't turn that pump over, I slide everything back together, we should be, uh, we should be good to go. Let's see if that thing will come out of there. I beat you. So you're gonna, I'm going to do all the work and you're going to come here and take the honors of just pulling it off there? Yeah. Go ahead. And I mean, I do all the work up front. Too. Oh my goodness. You're awful mally for 7 o'clock at night. You sure you're man up to handle that thing? Oh. Come on now. What do you got? Oh, oh, oh easy cheetah. Easy. I dropped a piece. There it is. It's an O-ring right there. You see it? Gotta find us yep. one of those. Don't drop any more pieces. Yeah, we gotta try to find that one piece of fell in that old thing. Let me get you a rag and we'll set it down right there. 
There's days I'm really glad I don't listen to you. So what'd you say? What'd I say? Well, I was just thinking, I was just anxious to get this thing out in the dirt. I was too. So I was kind of thinking, let's let's just forget about this little oil leak. We'll fix it later, mm -hmm. you know, winter time. Mm -hmm. But, you know, it's a good thing that I changed my mind, had that feeling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Okay, so you did. <laughs> so we're looking at this a little bit closer here and look what we found. So this, this plate bolts onto the front of the pump. And this bolt right here is about two threads Okay, four threads from falling out. And all the other ones around here are loose. So if this fell out, it would have went straight down that front cover and all those timing gears. So you'd have been really mad at me. I would have been really mad at you. Whew. Sometimes luck's just on your side. I told you the 120 loves me. <laughs> Let's finish taking this part and see what we got back in there. But I'm guessing this has something to do with our oil leak. One piece at a time. All right, we got this pulled off here, and we are pretty confident at this point that right there is our oil leak. Problem is, let me pull that off there while I'm holding it. The problem is that shim right there, or that gasket right there, is also the shim, is also the shim for the preload on that bearing right there. Which that bearing could have been off anyways with all the and bolts being loose. That couldn't have been good. Is that metal or is that paper? That's paper. Okay. That's our leak. Get a new one. Well, we're going to have to get a new one and then we're going to have to make sure we got the preload on that bearing set right. Ah, time to do some research. Did you two come to help? Maybe. Maybe? Maybe. All right, so it's a new day in the shop. It rained again. Again. Which, man, we were so close to having that lake job done. You know. But we're I, talking about a lake job. I don't know if it was before or after this video, so they may not, or they may or may not know what we're talking <laughs> yeah. about. They cleaned out a big lake. Almost had it done. Anyways, it rained. So here we are. But good news. We have <clears throat> we have parts. We have rounded up a new seal for the front. We have rounded up a new O-ring. I say we, you did most of the rounding up. What else do we get? Oh, I got uh, so this little pump right here on the side, which is a little lift pump. It's been uh, it's been leaking a little bit too. That thing's expensive. That thing's like four hundred dollars, like three hundred fifty dollars. But uh, thanks to eBay and a Chinaman, I found one for I think I gave one hundred fifteen dollars for this. So we'll put that on there, and uh, hope we put the counterweight back on. Do you go lift the counterweight up and put it on? I think Gunner and Macy got that. It's yep. just that right there. No. Oh, come on now. No. Let me see them guns, Gunner. You two need to wake up. Yeah, it's too early yet, isn't it? All right. Oh. Let's start putting this back together. Okay. <laughs> what? You're over trying to sneak candy, aren't you? One piece. Just one piece. He's worse than a kid, Mace. Worse than a kid. All right, so we got our new gasket. We got our new seal. What do we have like in this whole gasket seal over in like six bucks? Yeah. If that, yeah. So it was. I'll let you hold that. This shaft has got a little bit of a groove in it right there, but this is my thought on it. It's worth six bucks to see if this works instead of buying a $1,500 injection pump. So we're going to put it back together. It's not that big a deal to pull the counterweight off and pull this pump off. Had it in the shop. Phone's ringing, imagine that. Had it in the shop. It took us maybe half an hour or so. We're gonna put her back together. This thing does. Now, what saved the day for us? Putting this back on the crane. <laughs> I know what it is. You took a picture. I know. It's a good oh thing yeah. You took yeah. a picture. So this thing has to go on a certain way because there's an oil catch in there that directs oil in there off the timing gear. So these two bolts here have to split that keyway right there. And yeah, I had some video of taking it apart that kind of saved our butt. So now, I don't know if it's supposed to have it on there or not, but we're going to put some blue Loctite on there because uh, the bolts come loose. Yeah, they were a little loose. All right. Maisie. Screw me. That didn't sound right. <laughs> oh, oh, no. <laughs> Tell you like a lot of what you did yourself. 
I need something. That's the wrong it. bolt, genius. Uh oh. Jeez. There they are. Well, why ain't they with everything else? Because they're separate. Because they're special. Here. Hold on, let me get it. I was just checking, testing. Yeah, well, it passed, didn't it? Think that work? I don't know. Let's find out. Hey, why do you guys have your hands underneath there? I guess he just dropped that tiny. Some I got butter fingers this morning. Yeah. Well, I finally got you some good help. I know it. All right, so we got our new lift pump on. We got all of our seals and gaskets in the front. Isn't that beautiful? I believe it is time to uh, put the injection pump back on. Put it back in its home. It only weighs like five pounds, so. Come on, baby. Should have put a little bit of, uh, give me some penetrating oil. I'm gonna spread on that O ring before we force it in there. Yeah. By the way, this thing is going out of your garage. Been in here Hopefully forever. soon, buddy. Hopefully soon. It's been in here forever. No. Yeah, it's been in here since winter. Yeah, it has. You are correct. It takes a while to do good work. This don't happen overnight. All right, we got the injection pump up there. I got all my timing marks lined back up, made sure the keyway was lined up in the gear. Uh, that took a little bit of some nagging on, but we got her, so hopefully that's all good. So now we gotta get all the hoses up. These two yahoos here are working on their go kart. What are you guys trying to do down there? Trying to take. Hey, I gotta do that. Take this. What are you doing, Gunner? Taking this off. What's that do? Take the oil out. You gotta change oil in your go kart? Yes. I'm the Don't one who's putting drop it. No. Don't drop it. I'm not. Don't drop it. Oh, you got it. <laughs> Alright, let it all drain out and then we'll put new in. You barely got any on your feet. Good job. <laughs> Everything alright up there? All right, most importantly, we got the uh, oil change in the go-kart there, so we're good to roll again. We also got the injection pump on, and now it's time to bleed the air out of the system. We gotta bleed the air out of the lines because the air won't compress. So, we got 
the nuts loose up here. A lot of air and crank on that. Hopefully it'll shove the air out of it and see what happens. Let it rip. Think she's gonna go, boys and girls. Think she's gonna go. Tighten these down and see what happens. All right, you guys ready? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You ready in there? Ready. Fingers crossed. Here we go. What a rip. It runs. It's loud. Are you it not runs. moving it's on loud. the garage? Eventually, Aaron, we gotta get all our stuff done first. Well, that's been sitting in there forever. I'm getting gotta make sure it's done right. We don't want it to come back. What's been sitting any longer? The tractor or your uh, golf cart? Or golf cart, I mean. <laughs> that! <laughs> that's Alright guys, we got the engine up and running. I got the oil draining out of her. Gonna give her a fresh oil change. Aaron, on the other end, is uh what you working on over there oh something i thought you had done i was waiting for professional to do it so i was in. waiting on you ha 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 no he's been tying up some loose ends on the boom we had uh one shim that needs to go right there yet he's got all the actual bolts everything lock washer in and good we're gonna change oil change fuel filters top off hydraulic oil and uh a few other odds and ends. Oh, we need to grease it. Grease it's pretty important, I'm guessing. But I uh, gotta do a lot of that before we put the counterweight back on because uh, we're gonna do that outside. It's really hot and humid out there. And it's easier to do a lot of this with it off. So, on where we go. Look at I'm working over there, just concentrating. From the John Deere versus the Volvo. The oil filter is way up in that hole. Super inconvenient to get to. And then you look like this before you get it changed. <sighs> Thanks, John Deere. I'm not complaining though.
These things, can you believe that they're out of grease? I know. Man, it's crazy. Man, it's crazy. It's like we took them apart, cleaned them out, and put new pieces in. <laughs> yeah. You have a complaint? Yeah, I got a complaint. Good thing I'm not a laborer. More on the floor than you had in the pan. It looks like look, the, look what you got in the pan. Looks like somebody murdered an oil filter in this region right here. Yeah, it does. We had a struggle, buddy, but we got it. <laughs> Divide a big oil, oil filter, I guess. Now, I, I love a lot of things about this machine, but changing oil versus the Volvo, the Volvo's definitely got the upper hand. <laughs> All right. We got uh, half of a grease, hydraulic oil in, oil filter change, fuel filter change. We're going to see if this thing will fire off and reposition the boot to finish the greasing. You ready? Put oil in. I think. That don't sound good. Huh? Oh, never easy. <laughs> you gotta raise the boom up and move it first. Watch that extension, Gord. What about cord now? Hey, I think you missed the spot. I'm getting there. Oh, my bad. <laughs> that color don't match horrible, though, does it? No, no, I think uh, it's going to take a couple coats. Yeah, it's going to take a couple coats, but I think but, it'll blend in. Yeah. Everybody's like, why don't you repaint the machine? I'll say the pound of the machine is not horrible. No, no, it ain't. It's Especially not worth after you clean it. Yeah, it's, it's amazing what a good cleaning job to do. And I don't know who cleaned it, but they did a fine job. I've never seen new paint make a machine run better either. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Aaron is getting the last few bolts on the thumb there. Now we got to reposition. What do you got, like uh, three or four more grease fittings to go? Three more grease fittings, and that should have all the grease fittings. He uh, ran out of battery. But uh, good news, Santa Claus came. Oh, yeah. This goodie box here. Look at everything that comes with it. Santa Claus is expensive. I like Santa Claus. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, one thing I want to do, this is actually the factory boom light. And up until about the last six months I ran this machine, it worked. But it has had a rough life, and I have no idea how I made it as long as it did. But, I picked me up truck or track website we picked up this bad boy it's like 89 bucks that thing is built now uh 12 or 24 36 to 4500 lumens 55 watts we're gonna blind somebody that's my goal hey, so we can start working that night shift now i don't know about that <laughs> it's broke it don't work it's defective todd yeah. <laughs> Let me get this all here real quick. We'll give her a test run and uh, we'll make sure she's worth the money before I give you the part number. Check her out, Aaron. Looks good up there, don't she? Yeah, she looks good. Now, now we just gotta hope she works. 
Let's uh, give her the old uh, key on. Here we go. Oh, 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 oh. You wanna go stay in the spotlight? You got the right man to put the spotlight. That ain't no joke. <laughs> It's almost dark, we can take it outside and see what it's really gonna look like. I'll tell you what, I don't know. It's definitely uh, considerably brighter than the other one. It's hard to tell here in the shop, but... Uh, yeah. It hurts to look at it. I'm happy with it. We'll get her out on the job and test her out, but she works. All right, back to greasing now. All right, if anybody wants to know, that come off the truck or track website. I'll have a link in the description. It's a buyer's light. Part number 1492222. 2222. But there it is. I'll tell you what, for 89 bucks, I'm uh, pretty pleased with that. Use uh, promo code DIRT and save 5% off that. So look at, look at that light, and then look at that light. <laughs> <laughs> That's a huge difference, isn't it? You can barely see that one. Look at that one. I don't right. know why you don't get one to put in there. It's gonna look weird like this. Do all this work to it. I, mean, I will. I wanted to buy. Oh, that hurts to look at. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I wanted to buy one, make sure it works, and then. Well, it works. Oh, uh, now, now, now I gotta get another one. Nah, no, I get it. I get it. I get it. And I want one for the back too. Now you're asking too much. <laughs> hey, we're knocking off checklist items one at a time, buddy. So our list is getting shorter. Yeah, that list that all we had was to redo the boom and then it turned into oil leak and change oil and then this and that and an undercarriage and went on and on and, and I really thought that this was our last step hey, here, but I got a bus pouting about their uh, calf being Yeah, here. I told uh, Aaron, he's like, we can take it out and put it in the dirt. I said, nope, somebody's got to clean the cab before it goes out. The last three or four months I ran this thing, we ran hard and then I just quit. <laughs> So it, uh, it's got some remnants from the last job on it. But next thing on the list, install the counterweight. I think I'm gonna set you guys over here. It's like four bolts. Shouldn't be a whole lot to it unless we drop it on our toes. So I'm gonna set you guys over here and let your time lapse on this one. Well, she's on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she is. I think it was definitely easier with the skid steer and taking it off than the loader and putting her back. But uh, by golly, we got her. She had uh, one bolt gave us a little bit of trouble, but we eventually uh, we eventually whipped his butt. All right, yeah. it's dark, it's late. All you got is cab to finish. And we got put, we got to put the hood on. Oh shoot! And we got to get the cab cleaned out. And uh, it's supposed to rain tomorrow, so with a little bit of luck, this thing, you're ready to go back to the shop. rain and get a little shower, get a little bath, huh? Oh, as much as it pains me, it's going to have to wait one more day. One more day. I promise, girl, we'll get you back in the dirt. All right, guys, new day. We are back at the shop. man behind the scenes is uh, working hard on his backup engine, backup boat motor. For you. Complaining his arm's a little sore. I guess you had to do a little paddling this weekend. Yeah, when it broke down, I put my trolling motor on. It wouldn't work, but. Oh, look at that. We got a new fan. Now. We got a new shop fan now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we have got to get this pigsty cleaned out. This thing, yeah, look at that, folks. 
it has uh, it's just been neglected let's put it like that got dirt down there found my winter hat behind the seat you guys knew the channel may not know that but you'll see it this winter got my lifesavers left over got sweatshirt pepsi can water oh yeah it's a it's a mess in there folks this is gonna take a while so we're gonna do it the easy way we're gonna do the old uh youtube magic trick all right man behind the scenes i think our magic's gonna have to wait for just a minute <clears throat> because i think she's done beautiful side did you get new glass <laughs> no we just cleaned it so we gotta start in the beginning here let's do a quick little recap of everything we did so long story short every pin and bushing in that entire boom has been replaced Ew. even in the thumb uh you guys line board what four holes you line board the coupler here line board the coupler there did the main stick pin line bore and the main boom pin right there that all actually went pretty smooth for not knowing what we're doing yeah it did real smooth we did the uh undercarriage work on it with help from todd trucker track put sprockets rails and idlers in uh and we inspected all the rollers so all those are in pretty good shape pulled the counterweight off the back fixed our uh oil leak on the injection pump which was a lucky find and i uh, did a complete service on the engine uh, if you guys remember my video I did last year, I trained hydraulic oil, I changed coolant, and I trained spinal drive, gear pump oil, and swing box gear oil. So we didn't redo really all that. But, uh, man, I will need to note it still has the original engine, original pump, original drive gears, and original swing box in it. None of that's ever been replaced. It's never gave me any trouble. It may go on the job blow up tomorrow, but on the job, did you hear that? On the job. On the That's job, baby. <laughs> it's time for this thing to roll on out of here. Oh, we forgot the most important part. We slaved two hours on tonight. Check this out. Yeah. That looks a lot better, don't you think? About 110% better. I, I didn't even know there was the boom on the other side of that. I don't think I've ever been able to see it through that window. <laughs> Worst part about it was the mud was all on the inside, nothing <laughs> on the outside. <laughs> well, this is the one I learned how to operate on. So. <laughs> Windows clean. The only thing that I didn't get done that I want to do yet is I want to either get the seat recovered, but I may look into getting an air ride seat and put in it. Um, we can I don't go, know. We can go somewhere and get a cheap seat cover and throw on it. Yeah, I'll be that's. Happy with that for oh man, I've all the work we did to this thing. That's the one thing I didn't get done. I want to get done. I don't want to see that stop us from making money. You know? No, no, but it's time to get to the <laughs> job. And then if I keep getting, um, we may have to get AC one day. But that's all gonna have to wait. I'm just excited. I can't stand you it got no more. AC. I do. That's my, my I know AC has served me well for years. I can't stand it no more, dude. Let's roll <laughs> this thing out of here. All right, I'm ready. All right, guys, sorry for the cheesy drum roll there, but uh, you guys got to realize this uh, this moment right here has been almost seven months in the making. I do not have a lot of sentimental value with a lot of the equipment I have, but uh, this machine here is probably the exception to it. Over the years, this is always the one machine I could count on if I got myself backed into a corner or, or times got tough. It was always the one that could uh, dig me out whatever hole I got in. No, uh, no excavating pun intended there. It's just been a good, reliable machine over the years, and, and it just it's um, it's kind of part of the history of, of the company and the channel, even with that. But uh, this moment would not be possible without the help of some great friends and, and you guys have got to meet him along the way uh jason which also has a youtube channel uh jason works a lot i'll try to link him in the description huge thanks to him obviously aaron man behind the scenes i don't know what i would do without him i hope he don't watch this and comment because i'll never hear the end of it but uh very talented guy tremendous amount of help he's also got a youtube channel now aaron boom man behind the scenes i'll try to link him up and then uh todd trucker track good friend known him for a lot of years uh he helped me out chasing parts down helped me out on uh some pricing on some stuff so uh huge 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 thanks to todd but uh so excited uh to have this machine back in the arsenal and have two machines in the arsenal got a little taste of that with the the hyundai machine and the volvo machine so uh have a, two of them going again 
Well, we're ready to take. Uh, we're ready to tackle the world. Uh, <laughs> you guys can't see me in that machine, machine, but I guarantee I am grinning ear to ear. That's an end of a series, right there, man. Behind the scenes. Yes, it is a long one, a long one. Boy, she looks good sitting outside. What? Uh, what a project! I'm so excited. The next time they got these people see this on video, it'll be on the job working. What about you guys? You guys excited? Mm, no, because it's not mine. Oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> you excited? I don't. Know. I don't know. It, hey, don't it ain't mine either, but it almost brought a tear to my eye when it was pulling out of the garage. <laughs> don't be excited next time around, guys. That's it. Hope you enjoyed the series. Thanks to man behind the scenes, Jason works a lot. He's not here. Todd Trucker Track. Everybody that helped on this. It's uh, it's been a project. It's been cool. This is my baby. I'm, uh, I'm excited about her getting her back on the job. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment, guys. We'll catch you on the next project.